for once, I'm not running late. You guys, your girls are running late. What's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalia if you're new here and welcome to this week's vlog. So as you guys can tell, I'm a little done up, a little dressed up, you know, I clean up kind of nice. Um, I'm actually headed to dinner. There's a restaurant um, that I just stumbled upon the other day um, in Midtown and me and Isis are gonna go for dinner. It's like gonna be like a cute little girls night. I just figured like let me go ahead and like jump on the vlog really quick because I was gonna um like start the vlog off this morning but to be honest y'all I was literally just editing the entire morning. It was so dull. Like I was literally sat here at this desk just going to town um and so I was just like that's boring. Um, so yeah, so it is a Mexican inspired menu that looks a lot like Tulum or like it's it's modeled after Tulum. So I'm really excited. Um, if you guys don't know, I've been to Tulum. I went a lot. Uh, well, I guess technically 2020 two years ago 2021 I was gonna say last year I'm like girl it's January it's a whole new year so yeah I went in 2021 um in March and I loved it it was so beautiful and I had a great time and I actually went with Isis and I also went with my mom um and it was just so, so much fun like we had a great time so I was like oh my god like when I saw this I just was like girl I sent her a text like I was like so we go in and literally I just found it yesterday and we're going today we were like done um so I figured let me jump on here like I was saying um, y'all you, know my brain don't be raining. Um, I just switched complete topics. <laughs> so I figured let me start the vlog off here. I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing before I walk out the door. Um, and I was just, uh, I like filmed this get ready with me, like my makeup and everything on TikTok. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, go ahead and look down in the link below. You guys, in the description bar, to look. Oh my god, I can't talk. In the description bar down below, you guys will see my the link to my TikTok and you can find it all there. But okay, let me get up and let me show you guys. So nothing like too crazy. I just wore like this feather top and these straight leg jeans. Right now I just have on my docks because I was just walking Riley, but I'm gonna change into some um black booties because it is cold af i wanted to wear my um silver platforms that go so well with like all my accessories and stuff but they're open toe and your girl's just absolutely not trying to freeze it is so cold in new york right now it's actually a little bit disturbing um and then i'm just wearing this um silver like mirrored bag and this bag is from zara uh, my necklace is actually from amazon believe it or not and then my top is plt and so are my jeans so yeah super casual but like casual cute like with the feathers like you know I wanted to like dress it up just a little bit and then I just um used a wand and like ran that through my hair and yeah that's pretty much it so all right I'm gonna get out of here because for once I'm not running late you guys your girls are running late and I filmed and I edited what like that is unheard of. Literally unheard of. I'm a new being. I'm a new person. 2023, I have evolved. <laughs> but all right, let me get that out of here and I'll see you guys at the restaurant. And hopefully you guys think it's as beautiful as I do. Look who I picked up on the street. I don't know her. <laughs> Oh, that's shady. Not on the street. Love your tacos, please. Okay, they come three. Would you like to add one? And in that way you can get two each. Do you each. want a fourth or do you care? I think they come three each. No. Oh, oh I'm Three so, tacos. Three tacos in, in So you are going to get one guacamole for each, one yes. ceviche for each? Right. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay, the okay. tacos are three. Do you want four? Three to an order. Each yes. one comes three. Yes, but I she's asking if you want a fourth. If you would like, so we can add one taco more, in that way you can get right. two each. Sure. Oh. Girl, use your right here. <laughs> sure, make it four. Yes, thank you. Uh. I'm like, are you okay right now? Because three each is six. She's not saying six, she's saying add one to get four. Uh -huh. 
you know what I call that? How I call that? Covid brings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's they have this to everyone, anytime. Uh, each of the tacos has three in it. Yes. Yeah, three for three is six. Babe, she's like, catch. Babe, you can add one. What is wrong? I know that. What I'm saying is three each is five. Just one person has why one. Why would you want three instead of just having two? When you can add a four, well, why would you eat two orders instead of just adding a fourth? Because each order has three. You're not using your brain right now. I can see it. I'm so confused. Well, why would you pay for two orders and we can just add one taco? Do you want three tacos? Is that what it is? No. So what are you saying? Wait, but why? But they come with three. And she's offering to add one taco. To make it four. Yes. But so it's two and two. Oh, but each order has let it go. Or two. Each order has three. She's adding to. She's offering to just add one taco. That's it. You are li you're thinking way too much into this. I'm so I'm taco. still so confused. Why? I don't know. The lobster tacos have three, mm -hmm. and the octopus has three. Not three. She's not. She's just talking about tacos, not the octopus. Oh, I thought they were tacos. No, the octopus is my That's what I'm like. What are you talking about? Right they come three and three. I'm like, what? There's six tacos. No, that's no, why the octopus is separate. Yeah, I didn't read that. I just saw tacos. Yeah, and I thought it was an octopus taco. I don't like. Who the fuck cares? The lobster is tacos. The octopus is yeah. not. Oh, my God. what is happening right I now? Was, I'm like, why is this so complicated? I'm like, there's three tacos in the lobster. There's three tacos. Why do we need? Like, I was like, oh, we just made eight tacos. Whatever. <laughs> Now I understand. She lost her noodle. It's because I didn't read the fucking menu. I thought it said <laughs> she just told you it's COVID brain. Just call this. Honey, I thought it was a fucking taco. That's why I was sitting confused. You're doing great. Don't there we go. To to Perfect. Oh my god, that's ten times better. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And this is delicious. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is your napkin. Oh, this is what the photographer is here. I know! It's for, right for, uh, for things like this. I saw uh, the camera I was like, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not working. Nope. I'm excited that you're happy about um, I am. It took me a minute. It really did. I was in the house every day looking like, I don't want to go. I shoot you not. I was like, I don't even care anymore. I don't care what we say. I don't care what we do. Like, that's literally how I started to feel. Yeah, I was like, and I literally at one point I was like, why did I let them talk me into this? Like, I don't fucking go here. Like, I was so bad. Molly, for the third time. I know. Girl. I love it there so much. And then, you know, it's so funny. So many people I follow, I follow are there on all my socials are there. And I'm just like, I hate y'all. No, but they, have they ever been there? Yeah. Oh, they have. Okay. You should see how many people are like, oh my God. It's my sixth time back. It's my fifth time. Oh, yes. Like, girl, people love it there. That's all included. I'm cracked out. <laughs> no, we know. We hate silence. No, we don't. As a hit. No. We'll never have to go back again. The thing though is that there are other places I want to go. Thailand's been on that list. Vietnam is on that list. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Malaysia. I'm gonna go to the Philippines. You know, all these are all the places just in Southeast Asia that I want to go. You know, so it's like I'm gonna make sure that I'm not writing everything off just because I always want to go to Bali, but I do. I do want to continue going. Honey, I'm, I'm excited for our trip, but I'm not excited because I'm not wearing. What am I bringing? What am I? On this trip or on this trip? I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, I don't know. You know, in two weeks is a long time to not have no clothes. Yeah, I know. tell you, I was on Amazon Google and cap top. Cap top. Cap whatever. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this every single fucking day. Now I'm going to eat this also. I know it's so good. I hope you're doing the same, honey. I'm not full. <laughs> Save. I'm not full. I'm just saving room. Eat. Eat, damn it. I just have disrespecting me. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I was just saying. Yeah, I used to work in this. I mean, I take it.
Okay. She's she gonna keep me in school. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's perfect. Thank you. You're good. Uh, you know what? Feed <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was just gonna do that. I wouldn't have. I mean, that's like a way to come over there. That's like a what? I didn't know she was going to do that, or I would have let her take it. What, well, all the, uh, mm-hmm. um, what was I about to say? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I mean, I was going to try and help her, that's what she was going to do. Um, what were you talking about? Oh, I was, oh, I was filming earlier, and I was saying how, like, I was laughing because I was saying how, like, you guys are always ragging on me and laughing because I'm all about like how things look and like da 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 and I don't really care about the food and it's so funny because I was thinking why do I feel like like, like that and then it hit me because for me like I'm not a foodie like yeah, I like yet. food and but I'm not a foodie and for me I just want to have a good time with my friends yeah I'm and if like a place of great music and a good vibe and the energy's right like I'm I don't get the food is shit what is this place and like obviously you can go out to really pretty places. I mean, really, like, regular, regular places and still have great quality time with your yeah, friends. Yeah, but you're about the, the most Right, but I think... It's not that I'm about the look. It's like, if it has a look, I'm down for it. But I'm not mad if the food is bad. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm not mad. Like, yes, I would like the food to be good, but, like... I'm, All of us are like, ugh, Penny Lane. You were like, ooh, Penny Lane. But I was just having a good time with you yeah, guys. I didn't know. Care. Like, the last thing I'm going to remember that night is that the food was bad. I remember that my Girl, drinks I were good. Tell you what the fuck I ate. Yeah, like, but our drinks are really good. Yeah, our drinks are really good. We had a great time. Man. We looked so nice. We were there for hours. We had so much fun. Uh-huh. Then we had that psychotic crab ride home. Well, like, I think the last thing I'm gonna remember about that night is that we went back. Like I'm about to fucking die. It was so funny because I'm just in the back, like, yeah, I was so drunk. I was so wasted. How do you? I was like, oh my god, I'm going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to finish this? No, no, no. Good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. And you were like, he was driving so erratically. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was also because I was so far in the back. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't really see. Like, I was looking out the rear window. So I could definitely feel that he was going fast. But I guess we wouldn't like, see it. And I didn't see what he was driving against, you know what I mean? Like in my ass in the front seat, praying to black Jesus. <laughs>
Hey y'all, so I just left Pilates as I'm sure you guys could tell. Um, sorry, I just got a little text message. I'm not feeling that great, and I'm like, and it started last night. Um, when I came back from dinner, I just was like, like feeling very unsettled. And I'm just like, if I'm getting sick again, I will, I will fight. Cause like, I just had COVID less than a month ago. Like literally y'all, it's been like three and a half weeks. I think I got COVID. I think I was like off quarantine December 23rd. So it's like literally hasn't even been a solid month. So I'm like, what are the odds that I'm either sick again or I have COVID? And I'm like, I don't know, because I just don't feel the greatest. And then, like, to add insult to injury, during class just now, I was, like, sweating more than normal. And I had to, like, check myself to see, like, if I had a fever. Because, like, you know, sometimes you're just boiling internally and you can't even tell. So, yeah, so... Oh, oh no. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, my God. My hand sanitizer must have been open. Oh my god, it's all over the side of my phone. Okay, well thank god it's the side and not like the bottom. Shit, I need- oh, I have napkins. Okay. It's everywhere, y'all. Holy shit. Let me get this cleaned up. <laughs> that's as good as that's gonna get until I get a car wash. So anyway, basically what I was saying was, I just like- and would be really frustrated if I am getting sick because like that's actually insane and then also I just have so much stuff that I'm just trying to do to stay on top of my goals and like just everything like you know what I mean I am trying to like really stay on top of getting content um be it just like regular content or like I don't want to say the word staged because that sounds crazy but like basically what I mean is like when I go out to take pictures for Instagram none of my vlogs are staged if that makes sense like I'm just like that sounded crazy um because sometimes like I'll just meet up with Isis on Mondays and we'll just go get pictures and that that's what I meant that's what I was like stage is the worst word that I could have possibly used because none of it's none of it's fake <laughs> so yeah um I'm just not I'm not one of those people like I'm gonna get content where I am like you know what I mean I never want to force it because like I like to I like for you guys to know that like what you're getting is like real and like who I am like you know what I'm saying and nothing is nothing's fake so anyway back to basically what I was actually trying to get to I'm trying to stay on top of all these things and it's really hard when I don't feel well like you know what I mean especially because when you are shooting content you're working entirely from home unless you like you know get up and like go to like a cafe or like a internet cafe or whatever to like do your work so it's hard sometimes when I'm not feeling a hundred percent to power through when I'm just staring at my bed like you know what I mean so that's basically what I was trying to get to with that um so yeah I'm about to head back home I'm probably gonna just relax a little bit and get some food I'm really hungry and I cook and I have my uh new box from HelloFresh that I came in the other day so I have food to cook but right now I think I just want to like 
take a nap, maybe even if it's just like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, to like refresh myself. I woke up pretty early. I woke up around 8.30 um, and I was just um, getting a vlog ready to go live on YouTube and then I was editing a get ready with me for TikTok, a vlog for TikTok, and then filming for you guys and TikTok this morning. So I have been up for hours, and so it's kind of just like it's two it's two p.m. now. So I'm like maybe I grab a bite to eat, go home, eat it of course, and then like relax for a little bit, and then get up and finish my work because I have enough content to post between today and tomorrow that nothing is a rush. But I also don't want to fall behind. Like that that's been my biggest goal for 2023 aside from everything else is to be consistent and to like hold myself accountable and stay on top of everything that I've set myself out to do you know what I mean so yeah um Let's get moving. <laughs> I have a tendency to get in this car, in this parking lot, and just sit here and talk to y'all. That's how much I love y'all. Now the question is what the hell do I want to eat? Because I want like, um, I have an idea of where I could go. I don't really think I feel like going all the way over there. Why is the best, like, why is it whenever you want a specific thing, it's always the most inconvenient place you could possibly want to go? You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely things right in this vicinity that I could get, but I don't want them. You know what I mean? And of course, all the shit that I want is out of my way. I feel like I've been, I told you guys I've been <laughs> rewatching Scandal. And, you know, obviously Scandal was a really great show. I watched, I watched it all the way through until the end. But I will say that, like, there was a moment where I was like, oh my god, this show is annoying me. And then it hit me in re-watching it. The show wasn't annoying me. Olivia was annoying me. Like, she had this, like, holier-than-thou, like mentality but she was just as bad as the people she was shaming and I think in the moment that I was watching it like you know in real time like when it was airing I knew that but at the same time I like ignored it and blamed it on the show and every character in its entirety and every character like is obviously like has their own flaws and like their own issues or whatever which you know is understandable but every single time I have found myself re-annoyed with anything it's been with her crazy ass I'm like girl like you want you hold everybody to this crazy high standard except yourself so you know I'm almost done so I'm probably gonna when I figure out what the hell I'm going to eat, I'm probably going to go back home and watch that and relax a little. So, we'll see. Alright, child. So, I decided I'm just going to cook. Um, the black bean soup that I have from HelloFresh is only 30 minutes cook time. This is the one I'm going to be making with you guys. Um, it is basically... I'm trying to read the ingredients, so I'm sorry. Oh, it's on the I'm reading the wrong fucking side. Yo, what is wrong with me? Okay, so it's literally just yellow onion, green pepper, diced tomatoes. Oh, sour cream. Okay, it's not that much. Uh, <laughs> um, spice blend, tomato paste, black beans, Tex-Mex, like veggie stock, um, cilantro, jack cheese, which I'm probably not going to use very much of, and then blue corn tortillas. Um, blue corn tortilla chips. Alright, so this is my little bag here. And I feel like I showed you guys when I got my first box, but I'm not positive. So I'll go ahead and show you guys with this one. But I got my black beans here, my diced tomatoes here, tomato paste, pepper, like just like 
basically everything that I need. The only thing they don't include is olive oil, salt, and uh, pepper. Um, but it's like funny. It just, just like, it's annoying. I have like this love hate relationship with HelloFresh right now because I love this. Like, I'm, it's easy for me. I like it. It's helping me like be a little bit more creative with my cooking and I'm not just eating the same five things, which makes me bored. And then I don't want to cook. I want to order takeout. But I have a little bit of like a gripe with it because it's very wasteful in terms of like the packaging and that I don't love. I mean, I recycle every single thing, um, uh, like literally everything. And then all of my um, like anything that can be go like go down the disposal goes down the garbage disposal. So I accumulate very little actual garbage, but I still just like. I don't know um it's just how I feel so I'm gonna just go ahead and get this set up and let's get cooking if you guys are tired of all the b-roll today I'm really sorry um it was not my intention but I'm not feeling that great so just like bear with me just a little bit please one two three let's go already know what I'm about. The flow sounds sick over Dre drums, nigga. I ain't stupid. I see Doc. Then my door come quicker. Whoa. Shorty hips is hypnotic. She moves to so erotic. The watch. I'm the bounce that ass, girl. I get it crump in here. I make it jump in here. Front in here. We'll thump in here. Oh. So good. So ghetto. So hard. So gully. So grindy. What's good? I signed the Benz on dubs. I'm in the club with the snug. Don't start that. And it won't be nothing. Oh. Uh. Everybody put your hands up, let's party Everybody bounce with me Some champagne and burn a little greenery It's hot, disco inferno, let's go You're now rockin' with a pro I get dough to flip dough to get more for show Get my drink on, then get on the dance floor Look, homie, I don't dance, all I do is this It's the same two-step with a little twist Listen, Peppin', I ain't new to this, I'm true to this Pay attention, boy, I teach you how to do this shit You mix a little Chris with a little Don Perignon And a little Hennessy, you know we finna carry on Mollin' at the shorties in the club trying to get right We gon' be a finished bitch till we break day Like, hey, like, With diamonds, cause I stay grinding. Uh huh. Homie, you could catch me swooping, Bentley cooping, switching lanes. <laughs> Nigga, if you see me rolling, you know why I'm holding. I'm about my paper. Yeah. Nigga, I'm serious, I ain't playing. I'll embed it in your brain, I'm off the chain. G unit, next level now, turn it up a notch. Him and Dre sent me to tear up the spot. Front on me, oh no, you know I'm loco. Hands up on the dance floor, okay, let's go. Hey guys, um, it's been a few days since I have updated this week's vlog and I'm really sorry but I will sort of explain what happened and then um, I'm also going to do another like privileged and very special and so thank you guys so much for that um, but yeah I've been talking too long and I gotta get going so I'll see you guys in next week's video bye <laughs> basically why I just wasn't up why I wasn't like um, filming 
So basically earlier this week, um, I decided to go back to my natural hair. Um, I have a few lines of clip-ins right now, but um, just to help with volume, but more on that in like a second. Um, I have been very like, um, I don't know, like I, I started wearing wigs in probably 2017, 2018, um, something like that I think. And I'm just over them. I'm tired of them. And I just like, I'm just, I'm tired. I was over it. And I was like, okay, I want to just start wearing my own hair. Um, but the reason, for the most part, I have not been wearing my own hair is because my hair is very thin. And then last year, um, or I guess, I guess technically not last year, um, in 2021, I cut all my hair off. Um, I was really just stressed about what had been going on with my mom and I was just not like feeling the best or taking very good care of myself. Um, I was just sort of letting a lot of me fall to the wayside as a result and so finally I was like okay I need to cut my hair. I cut my hair completely off. I like well no I was not like bald. Um, I cut my hair maybe like maybe like this long actually. I'm um, stretched like not curly like literally straightened it was probably this long. And I just was like, okay, take care of your hair and wear, your wig, wear a wig for a little while and just rock it out until you get um, your hair back to a place where you're comfortable and then we'll figure it out from there. But there's also like a fun aspect with wearing wigs. It's like, you know, the versatility and like, you know, different styles and yada, yada, yada. And so I was like, okay, whatever. Like I've been doing this for so long. It's like, it's like second nature at this point. But then the other day I was like, I want to take this off but then I took it off and had like about 10 emotional breakdowns I was texting my friend two of my best friends and calling them facetiming them like guys I don't think I can do this my I feel like my hair is so thin um I just was like I just I just can't I can't so um I was almost in that place where I was like what did I do so when you are already dealing with your own insecurities and your own heap of problems the last thing you want to do is turn on a camera and like show the world and like the last thing I ever really want to be doing with you guys is faking anything because I that's that literally defeats the purpose of vlogging like you know what I mean like I want to be showing like my authentic self and like like just you know my life and like where I'm at and what I'm going through and so it was just really hard those last few days um of this week because I was just like I cannot pick up a camera and vlog when I hate the way I look. And I know that all of that is me and my own internal insecurities and things like that. And so it's like, I don't really think anybody else is paying as much attention as I am. And if they are, okay. But I know, and every time I go back and I look and I edit and I felt like I'm seeing it. So... I just needed a few days to get myself to a place where I was a little bit like okay um, and you know shout out to all of my friends who helped me drastically because y'all when I tell you your girl was unwell I was unwell okay um, so I am gonna stick with my natural hair for quite a bit I am gonna get my I've been I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm definitely getting my hair braided for my trip, which is insane. I've not had my hair bra in braids, like in box braids, since I was in like eighth grade. Like, that's crazy. Um, but I just don't want to have to... I knew for a fact, six months ago, when we were even talking about this trip, I was like, I do not want to wear a wig on this trip. Um, I've worn wigs before to... Bali but it is so unbelievably hot that it feels almost like your head is suffocating because it's not you're not just dealing with lace you're also just dealing with caps and it's just hot it's it's 90 degrees 90 percent humidity there's so much going on um and I knew for a fact this time I did not want to do it so then I was like oh I'll get tape-ins for the trip I'll be okay with tape-ins It'll help me with volume. I'll actually get them long. So, like, you know, I'll feel like, you know, my hair is long and flowy and blah, blah, blah for my trip, yada, yada. And then I was like, 
I don't really feel like dealing with hair at all because I knew that for the majority of this trip I wanted to be vlogging and I wanted to be filming in, for TikToks like just in general and for Instagram and it's so much easier so like for me I don't my friends are not big on socials like they use social media but they don't post like that and so not to this is no shade to my friends y'all y'all my friends are my biggest support system my friends are not thinking or moving most days with posting and vlogging and editing in mind but I am my friends are good on catching my ass and being like did you get a picture here did you get a video like do you need do you need like you know like things like that but like as far as like getting home at two in the morning and sitting down for an hour and editing like my friends are not on that and so for me I already take long as hell to get ready plus if I'm gonna film it that adds probably 30 to 40 minutes sometimes to an hour depending on whether or not my cameras feel like or my lights feel like being wonky to my get it to my me getting ready and so it backs us up and so I was like if it's just if it's just like if I just don't have to do my hair it just makes everything 10 times easier so I'll definitely be getting braids for the trip and then I'm probably gonna go to tape-ins when I get back because I don't want to stay with clip-ins for too long because I've had clip-ins before um in my early 20s I think like uh, maybe like late teens like maybe like 19 to when I was like 24 and then I probably started doing sew-ins again but I've had clip-ins and because my hair is thin the weight of the clips tends to hurt my scalp after a while or it starts to cause breakage um just because my hair just cannot sustain the weight um and guys like I'm sure you're like your hair doesn't look that thin trust me like it is I will show you guys a photo so here's my hair like in a bun you can like just see my whole oops sorry guys you can just see my whole scalp like you know what I mean and I hate that and so like even here I'm trying to like frick frick I have a clip here even here like here it is again I have um I have clip and bangs that I bought for Halloween um because I'm never gonna cut bangs in my own hair but you can see like just how thin it is there um and it's just an insecurity it is just as what it is I have very fine hair that's okay even at its you know curliest state my hair is very thin it just is and so it's difficult when you're trying to make a change and most of what I do in terms of like social media have a lot to do with how I look um and so when you're not happy with yourself and how you look in those moments it's very hard to share yourself with the world you know what I mean and so I just couldn't vlog I'm sorry guys I love you guys and I just needed a, I just needed a couple days it's only been four days that I didn't uh three days three days today's Saturday so maybe three or four days whatever since I didn't post but um or since I didn't vlog sorry not since I didn't post um but yeah so that's basically um what happened and I want to touch more I want to touch more on this um in another video I'm gonna do a chit chat get ready with me and I'm most likely gonna film it tomorrow or Tuesday um, because I'm going to an event on Tuesday and so I might film it for Tuesday and it'll most likely be up for you guys on Wednesday um, and so it's either it'll either be by the time this video it'll be two days after this video goes up I guess um, but yeah so I'm sorry to end this week's vlog like this but I just needed a moment to be candid with you guys and let you guys know where I'm at and what's going on and why and um yeah this is what I'll be looking like for a while um I am gonna trim this because these are a little longer than my hair and I don't really want that um yeah like this is my hair here and like or that was a mix of my hair and a clip but whatever anyway I'm probably gonna trim these to about this yeah because these are just it's just hair that I had um, and I might cut it just so it makes it helps it like move like it helps my real hair move a little bit more um, but my hair has grown so much since I cut it off um, a little over a year ago and it's a lot healthier and you know it's just I am happy and that's the crazy thing I'm so happy that I cut my hair so short and it grew back 
so beautifully but I'm also that same in that same insecure place I'm in that same insecure place that I was when I was young you know what I mean and 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 that's okay and it's okay to acknowledge it and it's okay to actively be working on it but I'm never gonna fix it's never gonna change if I don't if I don't try to change it you know what I mean if I don't try to change the way I think I look to myself like I, I'm never gonna be no one else is gonna be able to fix me you know what I mean like maybe a therapist but like no one else is gonna be able to talk me out of how I'm feeling because it's it's just how I feel it's the same thing like people with body dysmorphia or just anything like any insecurity you know what I mean it just is and if and I just wanted to take a couple of days to work on myself and work on how I was feeling and ask myself really like is what you're feeling real is what you're feeling accurate um and how can you fix it and or how can you change it so we will be back to regularly scheduled programming tomorrow i will pick up the, the camera and go back to normal vlogging like i said i have an event that i'm supposed to be going to I actually have to rsvp um on tuesday with a few of my friends and as long as they allow cameras i will be taking you guys along and i've actually been trying to be really on top of staying consistent on tiktok um I like you know I enjoy TikTok so much but I just think I was having a hard time getting into like the flow of filming for YouTube and filming for that and so I think I'm getting there um but obviously I stopped filming for TikTok this week too because I was like ain't no way ain't no way y'all I can't tell you how many times I was like I'm putting a wig back on I gotta put the wig back on oh my god I'm, I gotta wear a wig for the rest of my life blah blah blah, blah. like I can't tell you how many times I went through that this week my friends were literally texting me like girl breathe calm down it's okay like yada 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 I start I start walking around like oh my god my forehead is big my whole head is big my hair is too thin I look like I'm balding like I just was like going through it and for the most part I know that none of that is really accurate it's all just my my reflection of myself you know what I mean so okay Anyway, I actually have to get ready for work, and um, you guys know the vibe. There's nothing else happening after that. So, yes. Um, I love you all, and I will see each and every one of you in next week's vloggy. Or no, not in next week's vlog. In the Get Ready With Me um, in a few days. But thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope that you guys at least did enjoy some parts of this video, even though, um, yeah. And next time, I think, based on how I feel after this goes live, the next time I am going through one of these moments, I will, I will do my best to just film it in real time. Um, because that's also, like, a big part of, like, being vulnerable here in, in this space. Um, and just what I've heard from you guys has always been so positive and so uplifting and it's nice to be creating a sense of community, even our small little community that we have going here. Um, just messages that I've gotten from you guys in general, um, DMs that I've gotten from you guys on Instagram who found me here and DM me there and, you know, it's just, it makes me feel so great and it makes me feel so happy and it makes me feel very privileged and very special and so thank you guys so much for that. Um, but yeah, I've been talking too long, and I gotta get going. So I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye. <laughs>